Howdy, my name is Herb and welcome back to my workshop. Uh, today we're going to uh, show how I line the tailstock to, uh, to the chuck or uh, center. Uh, so what I've got here is a lathe test bar. It's an MT3 and uh, I bought this out of the UK and uh, it is a very nice precision ground test bar. Sides are parallel so you put it in the tailstock and crank the tailstock about as far as you can get it. You run it up and I have a dead center in the six jaw here. Lock it down. Tighten it up. Okay. So we've got it in there. We've got a indicator here uh, in, my, in a tool post and it's set on center. So this is about as far back as I can get. I've got the compound wound all the way back and uh, I suppose I could turn it but that's good enough. So what I'm going to do is preload the indicator and so we're on this end, we're going to go to the other end and see how far we're off. So, this, this is dead on, but had it not been, and I've actually adjusted this before, uh, use an Allen wrench, there's two set screws on each side of the uh, tailstock. Uh, let me show you those. So here you can see the, the tailstock and there's uh, a set screw here and one on the other side and by adjusting those two you can align the uh, tailstock where it's uh, where you get zero difference between the two ends of this parallel test bar. So this uh, setup is set up correctly, but uh, that's a, just a, an easy way to do it. And the, the magic is a test bar. This thing cost about $30 with the shipping from the UK, and I got it in about 10 days, I think, something like that. Uh, I think the name of the uh, company is uh, Eurotrade uh, or something along that. I'll, uh, I'll post a link in the description. But uh, that uh, is an easy way to make sure your tailstock is aligned. And believe me, I've uh, made things in the past where it wasn't and uh, you get a taper going from one end of a rod to the other and that's most of the time that's not desirable, but you can also use this to uh, make a taper by changing the, the uh, relationship there and you just, you know, go over a measured distance and how many thou you're off and you can calculate the angle or duplicate an angle. That's not my preferred way of doing short uh, tapers but for long tapers that'll work. Okay uh, what we're doing here we're taking some of this uh, banding material uh, I got a ton of this stuff uh, when I uh, uh, opened the crate uh, for my lathe uh, many years ago and uh, it's uh, it's really good material and uh, I've kept a, a bunch of it around to uh, do various things with. Uh, one of the things that I want to show you is making uh, some separators for parallels and I'll show you how this works but 
basically I just take take the uh, stuff and bend over the sharp edges and uh, put a bend in the middle and that's real easy to do with vice and a pair of uh, pliers or whatever uh, real simple thing uh, but very effective and so let me take you over to the vice and show you so what we have here is a couple of parallels uh, that we put in here and uh, invariably when you uh, move the vise around they fall down especially with thinner ones but a uh, little simple device put it in there and the thing is you can bend this to uh, Accommodate. Get it in there first. See what I mean? <laughs> they fall down. So you can bend that where it uh, will hold them in there tight. So you have a piece of material here that uh, you want to put in, and you, maybe you have several of these and need to do the similar operations on it. Uh, it holds your parallels in place. Take the part out, put another one in. Parallels are still in place. So very simple. Uh, just thought I'd share that tip with you. Another use uh, for this uh, banding material is some very thin parallels. This stuff is uh, it's pretty uh, even. You can uh, uh, mill it if you like, but I found that it's, uh, it's pretty parallel. So, say you want to drill some holes that are very close to the edge. You don't want to drill through a parallel. Uh, so, use this other parallel as a demo. We've got two pieces in there. Uh, they're a little bit long but that's okay. I'm going to drop my my part in there and tighten it up. And of course you hammer it down where the parallels are, are tight. And you can uh, drill uh, very close to the edge on a on a piece using uh, this banding material as parallels so that's it for now thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing